Hey guys, this is Doug and Cindy Perry. Hello. That's Cindy. I'm Doug. And uh, we're coming to you from uh, one of the ministry houses here, part of Fellowship of the Martyrs outside of Kansas City, Missouri. And we're specifically doing a video to respond to some videos put up by YouTube user Candeo, uh, whose name is Candy, who uh, is my ex-wife and is uh, very twisted up. And uh, right off the bat, I've taken years to not respond, to pray about, to take time to pray that she would take her videos down, that she would recant, repent. We've never made any videos about her or tried to do anything other than visit with our with the people here when I've it's always, happened and questions. Yeah, I've always tried to answer questions anybody had, but um, straight up, yep. I figure if you're willing to try to walk this out with me, I owe you enough to not shoot you when the enemy has got you down so i consider her sort of a prisoner of war that um in this spiritual battle that we're in she got shot up and uh hasn't recovered yet and i shouldn't just then shoot her some more we don't shoot the wounded so but i think it is important discernment training for you guys so she made several videos saying that um my false teachings had ruined her life and just a moment, she made several videos like, uh, what, 10, 11 years ago? 10 years ago. 10 yeah. years ago. Put them up, and then people back then pleaded with her to take them down, and she did after a few months, maybe like three months. We think that's basically what happened. She's, I don't, she may they dispute why then. she took them down, but yeah, we think. at least back then she'd taken them down, and uh, then two years ago loaded up two or three new videos. That were just vicious. Yeah. I couldn't believe them. I was like, I can't say I was devastated. I'm devastated over what she believes, but let him keep going. So, Anyway, um, as a discernment test, <clears throat> um, you should be able to identify who to listen to and who not to listen to pretty quickly as you are listening to the Holy Spirit. The people that are equipped the best for what's coming are the people that come visit or they call, and I say, what about... Uh, have you seen the uh, other videos online of people uh, calling me names and saying stuff? And they're like, oh, yeah, I saw those, but God said not to listen, so I did. I just deleted it. You know, I just clicked off. Or I started watching it, but it was disgusting, and I knew that it was a lie. It was the wrong spirit, and so mm -hmm. I turned it off. Great. Praise God. Now, some folks maybe want to chew on it and ask some questions and say, what about this? How did, how did that get twisted or whatever? Um, a lot of people have heard from the Lord. Every single word is a lie yes. in her videos. And the intention was to harm. It's always been to just tear down and cause a, a lot of distrust and tear somebody's character to pieces like a wolf. If so. I make you a brownie and, uh, and I say, you know, uh, I made this special for you. It's got a special ingredient. And you're like, well, what is it? And I'm, you know, it's organic. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, well, you know, I, I need to know what I'm eating. Well, it's dog poop, you know, but it's only a little bit. And uh, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Just go ahead and eat it. It's organic. It's gluten free. It'll be good for you. It don't don't mind that. Well, how much dog poop? Five percent, twenty percent, a hundred percent, eighty percent. How much is okay? And you'd eat that brownie. You know, Good point. and um, if something is intentionally twisted, if it's a lie, it's a lie all through. The whole intent of even putting it out there was to lie. So the whole thing is tainted and ugly and wrong and, and grieves the Holy Spirit, and grieves God, and will get you into big trouble in heaven. And, if you and come into agreement with it. And that's where we are. It's a, it's a nasty spirit. It's the accuser of the brethren. Yeah, if you, if you open the door to that and let it in, it will munch you up and... Um, truth be told, despite all of her going on and on about how I've ruined her life, she's done far more harm to me and to the ministry and to other people than I ever did to her. I didn't ever do any harm to her. She came here. We blessed her. Uh, I, I was her husband. I carried her around. She's an invalid. Uh, she, there's a lot of stuff left out of her videos. Since she was 15 years old, she's been in bed. She's, I'm, I was her fourth husband. She's physically incapable of having sex. If I'm a cult leader intent on, um, you know, using women for my own pleasure or whatever, I think I could find somebody well, better. Actually, you would or, have a lot, 
oh, the Lord found that. But the uh, you would have a lot more people screaming and crying, or you know, people that we would have heard it. Yeah, many yeah. of us, me as your wife and others around here, we would have heard. Oh, there'd Greg be police like reports and yeah, files and, and all kinds things. of stuff, and it's just Evidence. not there. It's and just not there. If, if you're into pedophilia or something or or bad things. There's, there's a trail. There's evidence in solid things, and we don't have that. And, and let me say, the Lord said she was for me. I heard the Lord, and he said it would be beautiful, and it was. When she was right with the Lord, it was beautiful. Never mind, you know, there, there are people out there that may watch this video that are married to somebody in a wheelchair or married to mm -hmm. somebody with special disabilities or needs or whatever. You make adjustments. You find a way to be intimate in some kind of form, and you 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 just adjust for what you got, and you love them, and whatever. And um, because that's who God. Put I'm together. not saying it's not a valid marriage. I'm not saying it doesn't count. I'm not saying whatever. But um, you you love them, and you make allowances. And uh, um, anyway, and you know we did all that. But the enemy got to her. She decided I was the devil, raced out of here like her hair was on fire, like men with swords were chasing her. The Bible says that the unrighteous will flee at the sound of a leaf falling from a tree as if men with swords were chasing them, but the righteous are bold as lions. I haven't felt a need to have to defend myself. I, I want the Lord to be my defender. We have uh, both felt a pressure lately recently. to respond to some of this stuff, um, and we want to do it as gently and carefully as possible. I, I have felt a pressure. I, I didn't feel a need to defend him either in the past. I, I, God had me watch these. I got to know her more. But I've also known what others that I've known knew her. And I knew she'd put this up before. And it just sounded like a ploy. And I was heartbroken for her because of the, the delusion that she's under. And uh, But now I feel very strongly. I, I'm not sure if it's because of where we're. I'm sure it's because of where we're at in time. I'm not sure with all the political stuff we're about to have a new election here and all as all these things have been slamming and the pound me too all of these things in the last couple of years it's gotten it up to where we have to bring some of this down and not just let it be out there flim flamming around and and painting people's thoughts because it's part of a lie and so recently he he felt it and so did I and I felt a release to address this as his wife and for us to do something to bring this down and to lay out everything as we've known. And you can decide for yourselves. It's not true. And I think that there's a time when God does have us refute lies. And um, this is one of those times. And, and I hope people can see through this. They did through some of the Dr. Phil. They did through the Lisa Ling. Dr. Phil talked to her, but they didn't want her on his show. And it's even in her blog. And her blog is just horrendous. It said a whole bunch of stuff in there. If somebody looked at it, you would see that Doug's intentions were not uh, wrong or impure in any way. He was trying to be a husband and and do what God was leading him to do. And I think she just got under a humongous delusion and then just went rabid with it and then has been hurt, like still uh, wailing and hurting. And so I feel like we're supposed to point out the truth and you're grown people, you have God also, and with God you'll hear more and more and more. He's for everybody if we will let him in our lives the right way. And so I, we lay all this before you and you'll know and you'll see. So I feel like we had to bring this construct that's been floating around and bring it down and look at it and hash it out and know the truth of everything, of all of it, and be putting it to, you know, to death because it doesn't have to keep flapping her it's not truth just in terms of a discernment training the title of her some of her videos is Doug Perry ruined my life with his false teaching okay uh, well, I just want to make some point about or Cindy wanted to say some things about would a Christian ever say that you know no no because nobody can ruin our lives we're not victims and Jesus Christ there's forgiveness there's healing uh, if you were wronged in any way, usually you look at the person and know that they were under a lot of pressure or they did something or they had filters or whatever the case is. But there's, if you were in the worst um, trafficking situation, there would be some way, and I've, I've known people that have been in all kinds of just terrible situations, 
and they don't hold grudges. They don't have like some big beef to still pick unless they're under delusion. If they're under delusion, that thing will be the hate object. Obsessive. The thing that they just can't, they were going to read everything and, and look up everything and try to pick everything and just stay obsessing on that particular thing or person. And that's what their hate and their emotions and everything will be drawn to that. And when you're with Jesus Christ, he overcomes things. Uh, I've been through a lot myself. I will be telling some of the things that I've been through. And I had a young man that was real, that knew me real well, and he said, I can't believe that. And the reason he couldn't believe it is because I don't have those marks anymore. He really did heal me from a whole bunch of stuff. So I've, I've been healed. You overcome. You're a new creature. You, you rejoice. You praise God. You know the end of things. You know that this is not our homeland. Uh, you know Christ and Him in you, you know. So there's great hope, and you have love, lots of love. And lots of mercy and lots of forgiveness. And so there wouldn't be a reason why you wouldn't have uh, be filled up with Jesus and be full of joy and peace and, and forgiveness for any things that weren't just right, you know. Usually we're making a, a way something should be. So, and what would it look like for a life to be ruined? Um, she is back living at her mother's house in her bedroom she grew up in. But she lived in that Where house she was an before, invalid for years. Before she came to you. Um, before she came here, she was in that bedroom, playing on the internet all the time, trying to make friends through the internet because she couldn't go out. She can't ride in a car. She can't walk very far. She's got 15 different diagnosed terminal, not terminal, chronic illnesses. And uh, This was pre-millennialism stuff. This is pre, what am I saying? I don't like the term snowflake, but... This is pre before people were just on the internet all the time like they are now, more so. Yeah. This was Since quite was a while back, you know, over a decade or so ago. Fifteen. She's forty something now, so. Well, twenty years. Yeah. You know, twenty thirty years she spent just basically in bed, and she was in bed here, and then she left here and went back to being in bed at her mom's house where she had been before. And she'd been in bed before here. I don't see how a life is ruined. What what scar <coughs> tissue is there? What. How do you how do, how does a false teaching? I've I've believed false teachings over the years, and then I rejected them, Who had and you? I didn't believe them anymore. So how did they? How Come could they have ruined my life if I rejected them? And how could a Christian say, give that kind of authority to somebody else and say the blood of Jesus isn't enough? Uh, forgiveness isn't going to get me through. Grace isn't sufficient because that guy ruined my life and Jesus can't fix it. And he Jesus can't use all can things to the good. Yeah. He, I, I don't have to rejoice in all things, you know, whatever. I'm just um, going to stay pointing the finger, you know. That's crazy. I wrote a book called The Red Dragon where I talk about how God will put you under a strong delusion when you go your own way and what it'll look like and, and the spiritual pride and the anger and the obsessive desire to crush whatever, whatever the, object the object is that you're chasing well, all the time. He says that in, the, in Thessalonians, that if you'll refuse to believe the truth and love it so, he'll send you a delusion. Do you know and, the scripture? Yeah, and we'll put the link uh, right here. The uh, <clears throat> she, she was real shiny. She was a, a big gun. Uh, she was... Uh, capable of walking beside me she helped a lot of people counseled a lot of people on the internet did mm -hmm. videos people, that really grew benefited. people up all that's gone and she took that for you on the internet and it, it even said what a yeah I, I've got you are. when when she went sour she demanded I delete every picture every video of hers that I had her one of her jobs with the ministry was to email donors and thank them for their donation. So when I realized, okay, she thinks I'm a warlock, I'm not her brother, I'm not her husband, she's under a delusion, I'd like you to please delete the database of all the donors. Oh no, they need to know who you really are. Okay, if that's not Satan, I'm supposed to just, yes ma'am, and delete every picture, but you're gonna email all of our donors and try to crush the ministry and say whatever to whoever and it's not like that's the first time it had ever happened either there was other people in the past that satan did the same thing with and uh anyway so now on her blog you see 
happy pictures of her and I because we were happy. Those are sincere, loving pictures. You can tell in the picture. That's it looks not a different person, than I'm her being you. angry and bitter. And uh, anyway, she did. She emailed everybody that had donated to us. Some of them listened to her. Some of them didn't. Some of them scolded her. Uh, uh, God bless Glenda Lomax for letting her have it between the eyes. For trying to tell Glenda what to do when God had told her what to do. Mm -hmm. um, and anyway, some of the too. some of the others scolded yep. her real good, and it was a it was an underhanded thing that she promised me she wouldn't do, and then immediately did as soon as she left. And that was I expect then. that was yeah. what eleven years ago, ten years ago. She left here. I guess ten. Went back to Michigan and started to get involved in the token the Holy Ghost, smoking the baby Jesus over the top. Holy Spirit Pirates crew. Soaking music and yeah, and meditating. And then got further and further away. She had lots and lots of Jesus-type Bible study videos on her channel. Then those started to go away. And then other stuff started to creep in that was more New Age. And uh, now... There was some Jesus stuff not too long ago on the, on those web, on this website that she has. There was a little bit of Jesus-y stuff on there that we didn't feel the need to look or check on it or anything. And then recently, when we felt this release from the Lord to, you know, address this straight on... We were shocked. I just, you know, we just shocked. cried and was upset about it. There's... It, it's terrible. Uh, right now, as of today, on her website, there are three videos about me ruining her life. Two videos that she released, um, sort of about God, except one, one of them is from 2011, soon after she <clears> left <throat> here. She was here um, October 2009 till October, basically September 2009 till October 2010. And um, in 2011, she did this video that she still has up that is just over the top heresy cloaked in Bible where she says we're all one so everything I've experienced she's experienced, experienced we're all part of the bride and it's you it's don't have totally to experience anything in Christ because your other part are and always dead. were and always have been and we're all part of God have been yeah which is some and, and accuses me of Gnostic theology uh, when that's straight up exactly what that is anyway um, she's got it's tricky. some funny videos, some joke videos, some music videos, and then about 7,000 New Age videos. Um, and I, I want to mean New Age, not not your light stuff. Of, I don't know if metaphysical is the right word. Oh, it's a yeah. mind, mind brainwashing, just really twisted up stuff, like all coming off of these same rays and having twin flames and... And, uh, people that were that shared a soul in a reincarnated life and yeah uh, it, it goes on we didn't even dig into the whole stuff because I don't even want a lot of that junk in my head but I want to show you so you don't have to go to her channel this is a snapshots we took yesterday of uh, the playlist some of the playlists on on her channel as there of right too now many of them. some of them are like 402 944 319 videos. Uh, on anyway, like. yeah, we're gonna get to that. the The point is, we didn't we didn't leave out the like revival Bible teaching playlist or something else. You can go look. There is not a thing. There's no like like build you up in Christ stuff left. It's all gone. And many of these were updated yesterday or updated today. And the biggest playlist is the Law of Attraction has 944 videos. 944 videos okay she has nothing to do but sit at home on the internet and draw disability and you know internet friends if if, if for every video i watch how many do i actually add to a playlist on my channel you know one out of three or four or five so for these there's got to be how many more behind it that weren't quite good enough to to add to the playlist i would have to think but it's really scary. So I'm going to just flash some screens here and, and read you down some of these playlists um, that are on here. Now, what we left off was funny stuff, 
and various music stuff. None of them Christian music, none of them hymns, nothing. Uh, all secular, funny stuff, not even Christian comedian stuff. Um, no, and a while back it was it was Antichrist, remember? She had some Antichrist. Zeitgeist, that, and yeah, yeah there's still all really that kind bad. of stuff on there. Um, and, and this isn't even, but I'm just going to run down the playlist and... Um, you can see just this isn't even the whole playlist. This is like the whatever showed on the screen. I would have to scroll up if they had hundreds and hundreds of, of videos. And I'm not, I'm not going to give you pictures of everything or every title that's on there. Um, but just to give you uh, an idea of this. So let me just roll through these real quick. Can I uh, say something? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to say I've been meaning to say this this whole time. The thing that hurt me the most is that some people called. And like a girl named Kimberly, and she had ran across these videos. And so it was trying to undo all the good that they have gotten from these videos that Doug's done, that other people have done, that Fellowship of the Martyrs has had, the things that Liberty Disaster Relief has done, the Church of Liberty. Here, all these videos were being tainted or put a big question mark because of this girl's hurt, uh, you know, victimization. Doug Perry's terrible. And it, it hurt me that it hurt this girl named Kimberly, a guy recently named Robert, just different ones when their families have gotten on there to see all of this discrediting of things. That's who it's hurt me for, not just for Candy, but what, what, how it's affected these others, those other people out there that were getting stuff, and then they have to go to their families and explain. And it's going to be like having a millstone hung around your throat and thrown in the ocean when you hurt little ones that are trying to seek truth and then you lie to them, and they, they don't come, they, they don't visit, know. they don't get truth, they don't get free, they, they don't get, get delivered, stuff. they don't get whatever, because somebody is still obsessing about still a hurt from hard. a decade ago and making up lies, which is what it is. Start to finish, there's not a, there's not a single thing in there that's not twisted. Um, and, and, and I want to show you how to test the spirits, how to test the fruit, how to test whether somebody should be even listened to in the first place or not. What's motivating this, them to say these things? What spirit they're of? Uh, let me go down. Here's some of the playlist. Um, uh, here's a here's a, a picture of her main page and uh, some of the playlists. And you'll see there's funny stuff, and then there's um, three videos about Doug, and then two two videos of hers that are the only thing left of her videos. And she used to have dozens and dozens and dozens of Christian videos that she had made some of encouraging remember, people in Christ. Yeah, some of them remember seeing some of her older videos, and they liked it and got a little bit out of it. But now this, and it's just progressed. This is like two years ago. It had a lot more on it, and then now it's to this. Yeah. And it's worse now than it was two years ago. And here's the uh, snapshot of the Power of Prayer playlist with ten videos. This is the Solfigio Tones and Frequencies playlist with 45 videos. And you can see her name there in the corner. Yeah, all of these it's are on, her, you can see her logo her on, her on all of these. Channel. This is her channel, her page, this is what her she's playlist. Promoting. And so these are videos other people have put out that she has that she liked favors. and added into her library. Here's Law of Assumption, 423 videos. That is straight up New Age uh, witchcraft. Here's one called The Gods with the origins of all these uh, imaginary gods and stuff. 36 videos. Uh, here's one on awakenings that are happening today with 326 videos. And a bunch of them feature Jim Carrey, of all people. Um, this is all about crazy wokeness and who knows. Then there's a, one called Life Changing Teachings with 402 videos. Um, again, these are not Bible things. These are all kinds of New Age stuff. There's a playlist on energy healing with 55 videos. A playlist on relationships with 264 videos. And there are videos in here about soulmates and twin flames and people that are sharing the same consciousness because they were the same soul in a past re uh, reincarnation and all kinds of stuff. And you're going to accuse me of false teachings? Uh, here's one on quantum physics with 138 videos. Uh, shame and info uh, and shame. healing um, with 85 videos. There's one here called reincarnation stories with seven videos. Law of attraction. This is the biggest one with 944 videos. 
What is law of attraction? Updated today. Law somebody. of attraction is Wayne Dyer and all oh, this new no, age. Oh, no, not Dr. Wayne Dyer that, and his, uh, yeah. that rides the horse with all those girls and out in California. I don't remember the horse and the girls, but yeah. He did. He's on PBS doing oh, his thing terrible. all the time. and yeah. It's all just name it and claim it, witchcraft, nonsense, force the, yeah, force daughter, the universe to give you what you it. want. There's one called Meditations of Creations with 319 videos. The Law of Attraction one was updated today or yesterday. The Meditation was updated the day before. So new videos are being added all the time. Psychic Medium Info with 17 mm -hmm. videos. Star Seeds with 14 videos. Healing with 44 videos. And this is not Jesus healing at all. This is any other kind of healing. Even Star Seeds is... Uh it, it, it's creepy. It's like yeah. weirdy stuff. Uh, there's one called Are You an Empath with 27 videos. Parallel Universes with 16 videos. Expanding Your Consciousness with 262 videos. Ghosts and Demons with 10 videos. The Power of Imagination, which is again a lot of Law of Attraction stuff, 79 videos. And that's, uh, you know, that's not even all of them. Altogether... There's um, uh, 77 playlists that account for 7,204 videos as of our count um, yesterday. And like I said, this is all she has to do is just watch this stuff, digest it all, take it on board, and then favorite it for her 300 subscribers to her channel to also watch. Until somebody that's new to us can get on there and then have it all be fuddled because she's put this junk up. It's yeah. ridiculous. Um, Terrible. I just... Uh, <clears throat> Cindy's Cindy's the best witness. She's been here eight years. As close to me as anybody. And some of the others. Rusty yeah. and others were here when Candy was here. They know that I loved her. I took as good a care of her as anybody could. I... You know, wanted good for her. I didn't tell her to divorce her first husband. I didn't tell her to marry the other two guys. One of which she'll deny because it was annulled. But I have um, a very good friend that knew her and had benefited from her. But it, it hit her hard when she left off like that. And she was one of the ones that told her to get that down. That she knew it wasn't right. And one of the... You, you know she went squirrely because one of the videos that's left is from 2011. And it is all is already squirrely. It is already we're all part of of the Christ consciousness. We're all one. We're all part of God. We're all eternal beings and have been forever with God and whatever. And have all experienced the same stuff. And that was 2011. And it's just progressively got worse and worse and worse and worse. And uh, I, even the people that were here that listened to her then won't listen to her now. And it's a terrible state of affairs. It really and is. Uh, I I believe that she prophesied correctly that she was going to die that October. And I believe this is dead. And I'm praying that the Lord will raise her up to be a different person and give her a chance to repent and come back to Jesus. Um, regardless of if she ever says she's sorry to me or anything, I don't yeah. care. I just... That's beside uh, the point. I don't want to... I don't want to see her... Other people that have turned on us and spit on us and said all kind of manner of horrible things about us and God turns them over to stuff. You don't just get to hit one of God's kids with a Tonka truck and and get away scot-free. You're going to get a timeout. And who else it hits if you hit that one yeah. you hit everybody else. Yeah, and the other people affected as well, line, for sure. Yeah. So um, I want you to... This it, There's always going to be something. There's always mm -hmm. going to be somebody on this the Internet. You can't <clears> be a public figure whether it's Trump or Obama or the Clintons or Ronald Reagan and somebody not say you're the Antichrist. Every Pope, every whatever. So, or that you have a fast food face, I guess, is what one said about me. <laughs> so, I mean, they're going to look at this terrible political situation and then people, are, the Antifa, all the different, the, um, different degrees of hate right now that are out there. And to me, it's the Red Dragon. When I first read the Red Dragon, which I just love, uh, because it gives such grace with people while they're under such a twisted, twisted state. It's just loaded with grace and mercy until they can come out of that. But God does bring people out of that. We've had many people that that didn't get along or didn't like what we're doing. or And then later they kind of scratched their and said, You know, 
I kind of see where you were coming from. I hope you'll forgive me. I didn't mean it that way, or I didn't know that back then. And we're like, absolutely, we understand. You know, it's just warfare, mm -hmm. and we we figure she's a POW. That, mm -hmm. like I said, it's a war. She got wounded. She's she's unconscious right now. Uh, People get messed up, and I don't want to shoot at her more, but. I don't want you to be fooled either, and you need to test everything and see what is the fruit. What is how many people are getting fed? How many people are cared for? What is the fruit of it? What's the spirit behind it? Is it from the accuser of the brethren? What do you see Jesus just helped. oozing out of that person? It's it's a difficult thing when you bring a rebuke. You better do it right, and it better be righteous, and you better come in humility and, um, you know, whatever. And uh, anyway, the spirit's all wrong behind it. And it should be obvious to anybody that's got the Holy Spirit in them and is listening to the Lord. But um, anyway, um, we've got some other videos. We're trying to respond as clearly as possible to this on a bunch of different levels. If you have a specific question, ask it in the comments. Feel I'll free. do the best I can to respond. Or email. Um, yep. Also, we're going to put a link in the description of a video she made when she was here. Yes, we are. That uh, was that. really shiny, defending me. And upset about all the people and how how wrong it was for them to pick at me and if they loved me they'd come tell me to my face and this is the I uh, this video she had demanded I delete everything we and I did cleaning a bunch of and I found an old computer a hard drive from an old computer yeah, be, that had this this video and this on was it on an old one. and uh, really had it. We I were think it's we found it. I think it's the Lord uh, wanting it still out there because these are her words that she spoke in an anointed way by the Lord and it doesn't sound at all like the person she is now. She's taken up for him. I guess they had had some hate mail and stuff and so she was saying she didn't know why everybody would hit on Doug Perry, that he's a good friend and was just saying taken up for him and yeah. that's that's my our biggest plea is that she that people be lifting up prayer. I know it's not by power and might and strength but I know God doesn't overlook the broken, contrite heart in a, a prayer for somebody. So, so I'm glad yeah. we get to show this, and it'll give you an idea of who she was and whatever God's, whatever she will let God in to do. Because God, God is already doing. He's already His arms not so long it can't reach. His ears not so heavy it cannot hear us. It's the sin between us and Him that keeps us separated from Him. So really, it's a plea for her soul, yeah. for her whole spirit to turn back to Him. Yeah. So we ask you to pray for her as we've been praying for her, that um, she recant and uh, repent and turn, get right with Jesus, Whether we get see rid of not. all of this New Age nonsense. And um, she was shiny. She was really, really shiny. There was a time, and uh, she helped a lot of people, counseled a lot of people. They would sit at the foot of her bed, and, and she would talk to them and was a, a, She'd be a, a, a big sister and a, a beautiful light. And um, I don't have any complaints. Uh, God said it would be beautiful, and for the time uh, it was, when she was shiny, it was beautiful. And um, you said it taught you a lot. It was it was an important part of the thing, and uh, Candy and I both had felt like she was not going to make it to the end, and that she thought she was going to die and go be with Jesus, and that somebody else would come and I would finish the race with them. The Lord says, "Cindy's the end of the line. There's nobody coming after," and. Um, um, we're going to ride this out, she and I together. So, uh, praise God. Uh, that's encouraging for me. Um, but, uh, and she's a beautiful, a beautiful gift and a great helpmate and, uh, a treasure, uh, by all counts. So, um, if I die, if, if I were to die soon or physically, boy, I'd want to go out, haven't touched everybody we could and prayed for everybody we could and shared and taught people and, and uh, equipped people as best we could. So I just encourage everybody for that. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for listening. May the light of truth shine on all of us and reveal the darkness, uh, even if we don't want it, even if we don't like it, whatever it is. That we uh, receive it, Lord. Let the light of truth shine. In the name In of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen.